friends in this video we are going to create a professional online grocery store this is a beautiful design and mobile optimized website so a customer can easily purchase a product from our website and there is a direct cart option for on the home page itself and you can see there is a search bar for the option there is a store list and the customer can purchase a product directly from their favorite shop and this is also GPS enabled and when the customer searches it will be show the nearest retailers and when a product select they can know which pro seller is selling that product and there is lot of other options also available in a customer on add to cart they can view the cart and they can edit the cart and they can update and click on proceed to checkout and when they proceed to checkout they can create an account or they can log in with their facebook or google account and also they can log in with their otp mobile number they can verify the mobile number this will prevent fake orders and spamming etc and cash on delivery credit card option also available and we also give a registration form for the local vendors to sell their products on our website so they can directly register and start selling on our website so we can also earn a commission from that and this mobile version also look same like an app so a customer can use like an app and very easy to use and we will get all the functions that we are used on a computer we will we can use all the functions that we used on a computer so on the mobile also they can enter with the google or facebook id or login with otp and otp will be sent to their mobile number and that otp number can be entered and they can log in on our website and they can proceed to check out in order to do all these things first we have to buy a domain and hosting for our website domain means our website name and hosting means the space for keeping all the files of our website so first we have to go to any domain provider i'm choosing this hostinger.in and just type a domain name check your website name is available or not on the hostinger.in i'm searching my domain name is available Okay, my domain is available. Click on Add to Cart, and they can view the cart and check out. Before that, we have to buy a hosting. I am clicking on Share Web Hosting, and choose any of these plans. I recommend the second plan, Premium Web Hosting. and you can adjust the time length and click on check out now and you can also log in with your google or facebook account and you can choose any payment method choose any of the payment method Okay, and enter your billing details, details, and click on continue with payment. Once you finish that, you will see a window like this. Click on hosting, and you can see 
a control panel like this here you can install WordPress on your website so just go to this auto installer option and click on WordPress and type your username password email and website date and add, or add everything as you are seeing the video and now click on install okay now you can go to your website and you can see how the home page looks and this is our default wordpress website and now we can add a theme for our website go to this appearance and click on themes and click on add new and upload a theme the theme name and the link i will give in the description you can purchase from there just install and activate the woodmart theme we go on install now once installed just activate the theme and you have to install all these plugins as you are seeing the video just click on begin installing plugin and select all the plugins and click on install and click on apply and wait for some time to get installed all these plugins now you can activate all the plugins record select all and activate all the plugins once you activated all the plugins just go to home and just skip to this step and close this window and come to woodmart and click on base import now there is two build days are active on our website base build days now we have to deactivate one of them now go to the plugin settings and deactivate the wp bakery page builder we are using only elementor now come to the base import section on woodmart and click on import base data and wait till the finish and now we can choose any demo versions from the list there is lot of demo versions are available i am just choosing the electronics version and click click on setup version Okay, once you finished all data imported successfully okay now you can check on our home page and just refresh the home page and everything works fine and all these things we can change to we can change all these things and we can customize our website now okay now come to woocommerce and click on settings and we can change all the woocommerce settings here you can change your country and you can add your address and selling location shipping locations this is very simple and you can do with your choices and you can change your currency once you finish that click on save changes and you can change the product settings uh, you can change the shipping and payment settings i'm 
select into payment settings and I enable cash on delivery and click on save changes and click on advanced option and select a page for the terms and condition and click on save changes and account settings all these things you can change or delete according to your choice if you want something you can enable it or disable it and now come to the product section and click on add new here you can add a product and type a description for the product and a short description for the product and set a product image once you selected a product image you can add some product tags for your products you can add some product tags and add a category for the product you can add the category from the existing list or you can add a new category once you finished everything check and so you can add the price also just add a regular pay price and sale price just add a sale price and you can schedule that price and once you finished that check everything is works and click on publish Okay, once our product is published we can check the product click on view product and you can see your product is live now now we can check how to create a variable product now go to your product section if you want click on add new I'm just editing the previously added product come to product data and select variable product and click on attributes and click on custom product attributes and type the variable name I'm just typing weight and the values we have to add one kg 500 two kg etc with a hyphen and click on save attributes and so once you click on save attributes go to variations and create variation from all attributes click on ok and now our three variations are added now you can edit one by one you can add regular price sale price you can add the separate images for the product description for the product and stock value everything you can add it here and click on save changes and click on update now we can view the product see our product variation has added and customer can choose by the weight and they can see the prices now we can 
edit the home page click on edit with elementor and they can edit all the sections of the home page like this just click on a object on the home page so the left hand side there will be an option coming for editing and you can edit from there as you are seeing the video it's very simple and you can add your newly added products on that and once you finish that click on update like this you can change all the images and everything just click on that object and you can change on the left hand side and if you want delete something just click on that delete option and you can also add a, a section for your home page or you can edit all these things on any page you can now go to the appearance and click on menus and create a new menu and give a menu name and click on create menu and you can add the product uh, pages and product categories and custom links and all other things you can add it to your new menu come to the product categories and you can add some of these categories to our menu and you can add custom links just type a hash on the url section and type a link next and you can rearrange the menu as you are seeing the video can rearrange everything and you can select the display locations and click on save menu and now we can edit the health header click on bookmark and header builder now you can choose the default header from the list just choose the header electronics and click on edit and here you can edit all the header sections you can change the logo click on upload and you can upload your logo here just uploading the logo click on the logo for the sticky images just upload that once you finish that click on save and here you can change the header categories menu and click on save and here you can see top bar text this can also be changed or you can add a new text if you do not see on the visual section then go to the text and change or remove the text there and click on save and once you finish everything click on save header you can align the main menu options and you can change all other settings here on the header settings you can change the header settings 
just editing this also and you can change this and click on save header once you finish that click on the mobile layout and this is the mobile header of our website you can change this also you can change the logo you can upload a new logo for the mobile section and click on save and you can add a new element also there and click on save header once you finish that go to settings and click on permalinks and select this post name and select the default permalink for the product and click on save changes see that index option we have to remove that's why i went to the permalinks now it is gone okay now go to the sliders slides and you can add a new slide or you can edit the demo slides i am just editing the demo slides i am editing these three first three slides click on edit and you can change the background images and the textures of the slides i am just adding a background image and click on update Once you finish that, you can click on Edit with Elementor. Here you can edit all the textures and these buttons and all these things you can remove or you can add anything. I'm just removing all the things because my image has some text. That's why. Once you finish that, click on update, and now we can edit the second slide. And you can remove the old image, and you can add a new image for your website for the slides. And click on update. and you can remove the textures from the slides and you can also add text or you can remove it once you finish that click on update now we can change the third slide also just removing the image and we are adding a new image and click on update and click on edit with elementor and remove the textures and everything just click on update and now we can view the go to the slider settings and this is the slider settings of our edited slides click on edit and you can here adjust the height Height on tablet and everything. This we can see live. Now our slides are bigger, so we have to reduce the size of the height. And I'm just editing all the sizes and everything, and click on update. Now go to your website and just refresh. Yes. Now our slides has been reduced, and now. it's beautiful now we can edit this images also with elementor and just remove this images and choose a new images and you can also customize everything just go to the site title and you can edit the tagline for the website
and you can add a site icon also select a site icon and click on select and crop image once you finish that click on publish and here you can adjust the main menus and everything you can adjust here and you can visit the footer columns and you can select the home pages and the WooCommerce settings also you can be changed here and now we can check how to set up a payment gateway for our website in order to do this first we have to go to razorpay.com and we have to sign up an account we have to take an account on Razorpay you can log in with your Google account sign up with Google and once you enter you will see a window like this you have to select your details here as you are seeing on the video and once you finish that you will see a window like this and here you can see the test mode and live mode now we are on the test mode now go to your wordpress dashboard and uh, to add a plugin click on raise up pay on plugin settings and click on install now and the plugin is installing once the plugin is installed just click on activate and now come to the settings WooCommerce settings and come to the payment section and here you can see the, see the razor pay option is available click on manage and here you have to add a key ID and key secret to get this now go to the razor pay settings and you can click on API keys and cl click on generate keys and this is a test key just copy that and paste it on our website and key secret and this also paste on our website once you finish that click on save changes and now we can check how this works click on checkout and you can see this thing click on place order and you can choose this one of these options net banking or something and you can either click on success or failure okay and now we have to change this text test mode into live mode so you have to fill for the activation form just fill up all this activation form and then copy and paste your website URL and click on save and enter all your details once you finish that your payment is now enabled and you can accept payments and our website is now live for accepting payments now 
go to the settings again and click on API keys now this is our live API key just copy and paste on our website and change the test API key and key secret just copy and paste that and click on save changes and now everything works fine now you have to fill the KYC form after verification then only the amount will be transferred to our bank account so you have to add all these bank details on their KYC form you have to upload some documents and all other things but before that you can also accept the payments and that amount will be in your Razer Pay account now we can check how to edit our footer column to do this go to appearance and click on widgets and you can edit footer column 1 2 3 and all things you can edit as you are seeing on the video just downloading our logo and change all these things as you are seeing the video it's very simple just copy the logo address and pasting on the content section and copy or paste the contents and you can change the address phone number etc just change the phone number and click on save just refresh and check in see all the images has been changed and now go to the second footer and here you can edit the recent post and this can be also you can also delete this and you can add a new section for these columns once you finish that just refresh and I'm just changing the third column just delete this you can delete or add just click on delete and on this third column I'm just adding a menu navigation menu just select the navigation menu and you have to select where it will be added footer column 3 just click on add widget and you can add a title for the navigation menu here and you can select the menu just select a menu for the navigation and click on save now we can install WCFM plugin on our website this will convert our website into a multi vendor marketplace to do this go to the plugin settings and click on WCFM and install all these three plugins on your website and wait for to get installed once install all this plugin go to the install plugin section and click on inactivate and just activate all these three plugins now 
we can set up our WCF from plugin. Go to the marketplace option and click on that. Now you can see a dashboard like this. Click on settings. And here you can change all the details. It's very simple. You can change according to your choice. You can add your logo, default logo. And quick access icon, my store label. And you can click on modules and you can enable or disable all the modules according to your choice. and marketplace settings and product approval option is available store URL available and you can change all these settings according to your choice this is very simple and it is totally depends upon your choice and you can set up geolocation this is very important thing and if you select google map you have to enter the google map api key by default open street map is available here you can add the store list radius search enable auto filter if you enable that the shop will be shown according to the GPS settings and you can enter a map default location you can enter the your office address or your service point you can enter their map default location just select one of the from the map and you can drag and drop that position can choose the design and everything once you finish that click on save okay now we can set up order setting we can set up commission setup commission for the admin and you can type a percentage of commission and if you want to enable commission tax settings you can enable that once you finish that you can save and like this all these th settings you can be changed click on withdrawal settings here you can allow the customers how they can withdraw the things and they can request auto approve all these things all these settings you can change minimum withdrawal amount you can add on the plugin settings reverse withdrawal option is also available you can click on payment settings and you can select the payment methods from the list can click on shipping settings you can change the shipping cost and shipping methods and all other settings here and your refund settings review Vendor registration
and you can hide this options here store style dashboard style dashboard pages and menu manager notifications email settings inquiry settings product type categories product custom fields and all other settings you can change on the WCFM settings page or WCFM dashboard you can change all these settings you can add the store policies here store hours you can add you can add a default store hours and once you finish all these things enable the attack cleanup if you want to delete the old data just click on that now we can change all the capabilities here you can change the capability settings just turn off this backend access WP admin and all other settings is not ok now you can add a store vendor from your own site you can add a seller you can add a username and password for the sellers and add a email address for your sellers and store name store slug and you can add a logo can add a banner and all the other settings you can change according to your choice this is simple and once you finish that click on submit now the vendor has been updated or added successfully and the email link and the login link will be sent to their registered email address now come to the menu section and we can add this WCFM menus to our main menu the vendor registration and this option add to our main menu store manager click on add to menu and custom links and type a hash and type the link text sell us and click on add to menu and you can rearrange all the menus like this and click on save menu and now you can check how this works click on vendor registration just add email name email store name and etc and the customer sellers can see it like this a window they can set up the store logo they can upload a logo and they can also upload a banner for the for their shop and they can add their phone number address details and everything
and they can add a location of their store and they can add the shop description and click on continue and you can they can set up their payment method and they can add the policy setups and they can add the customer support and all the details they can do they can add the SEO setup for their store they can add a meta description for the store meta keywords and they can set up the facebook and twitter and click on continue and they can add their social media links on this page and once you finish that click on continue and now their store is ready once the sellers has been registered they will get a like this dashboard on our website and they can add their own products they can be simple or variable whatever it is they can add their products i'm just adding a product as an example they can add the short description description and they can choose the categories by default the admin can only add a new category and you can also change that settings on your admin dashboard now the they can add a product image then click on select once you finish everything click on submit and you can also add all these products from the uh, from our website they can bulk upload i'm just checking the now added product it's okay everything works fine can see the location customer can see where this product is selling and they can see the delivery options and store policies and everything works now we can add bulk products to our store from the products we have created earlier or we can tap all other select all these products and click on bulk card and this product is added to the specific customer's product list and click on and that product click on draft and click on the products on the draft product click on that and here you can add and or delete the product and once you finish that click on publish like this you can edit or other products and you can modify the product price and sales price and all other details and click on submit once you click on submit it will be auto publish in this section we can add or delete pages we can delete the demo import pages the dem old demo pages we have to delete so go to the pages section and click on all pages and here you can also create a new page now we are deleting all the pages go to the last page and delete the unwanted demo pages 
just delete all the pages select all and delete the pages you are not using don't delete the important pages and click on move to trash and you can also restore from the trash like this delete all the pages and you can also create a new page I'm just creating a new page for the store list give a title for the page store list and add a short code and select short code select from the option and paste this short code WCFM stores and click on publish once you publish you can view the page click on view page and now all our stores has been seen on this page and this page also we can add it to menu go to the menus and you can assign the menu here I'm just renaming the older section you can also delete the menu like this and click on save menu okay now we can enable multi-step checkout on our website in order to do this first go to the plugin settings and type checkout and you can see the WooCommerce multi-step checkout install that plugin once you install just activate the plugin and here you can change go to the WooCommerce and click on multi-step checkout and here you can change all the settings according to your choice you can show the billing and the shipment step together whatever you need to change you can be changed here and you can change the design means colors and everything etc you can change here and you can change the text or buttons and everything you can change here once you finish that don't save changes in this step we can edit the theme settings in order to go do this we have to go to the theme settings and you can edit all the setting theme settings here you can uh, enable the mobile footer and all other settings you can done here you can search for a specific settings on the search bar and you can delete anything you want and you can select the navigation menus select the buttons etc you can check here you can add custom buttons for the mobile bottom navigation bar and general layout page title all other settings can be done here you can change the footer copyrights and all other footer images and everything you can change here typography style color and promotional pop-ups you can edit the html block that i will show you and if you want to edit a pop-up you can also edit that html block id and header banner product page okay once you finish that go to the html blocks and you can select the blog you want to edit and if you want to edit the promotional pop-up the first pop-up we are seeing 
just click on edit with elementor and you can edit that this is the text is full white that's why you are not seeing anything if you want to edit that just place the mouse on there and just click and you can see on the left hand side you can edit the things uh, actually the text is in white that is why we are not seeing that now edit instead of the demo just type your site address or something like that just add your type uh, your website address Once you finish that, click on update. In this step, we are going to enable our OTP login. In order to do this, we have to install a premium plugin. The link I will give in the description box below. Just once you download the plugin, just upload and install the plugin. Once you install the plugin, just activate the plugin. Now you can see the plugin settings here. Just click on the gateway. Click on the gateway and choose Firebase as the XMS gateway. Now we need go to firebase.google.co and log in with your Google ID and create a project and type a project name you can add any name just accept the time and conditions and click on continue and select your country and accept the times and conditions and click on create project and wait for some time to get the project finishing up ok now our project is ready click on continue and you can see a window like this from this option click on web and register your app give a name for the app you can add any name click on register app and Continue to the console and click on build, click on authentication and click on the sign in method. Just click on get started and click on sign in method and enable this phone method. Okay. after that click on save once you finish that just add your domain here add domain just add your domain and click on add once your domain is added you can see here Now you can go to the project settings and click on that settings and just you can see the config code just copy that code and paste it on your plugin settings and click on enter click on enter after pasting then save changes ok now the gateway settings is completed now we can change all other settings this you can change according to your choice you can change the OTP recent time 
WooCommerce account page my account link all other settings you can change by default also the settings are okay default settings are uh, normally okay for the customers once you finish that now we can add social logins go to the theme settings click on login and register now we can add facebook and google account now we can add google app id and app secret in order to get this go to console.developers.google.co and click on create project and you can add a project name you can add any name for your project and click on create and wait for some time to get creating the project okay once you have created the project select the project and now you can click on this window consent screen or consent screen and click on external and click on create here you can give a app name you can add your domain name here you can add your email address google email address you can add a logo which is 120 pixel and you can give the application home page privacy links and times of service link and all other settings you can add it here just copy and paste the privacy policy link and just type your domain name here otherwise domain just paste the domain okay only domain name needed no other things just remove all other things just add your email address once you finish that click on save and continue okay everything works okay now click on save and continue now here you can add or remove scopes and now we can just edit that also click on add or remove scopes click on that and i am adding the first one only view your email address just click on that and click on update now click on save and continue you can add test users also for this app if you want you can add uh, it's optional okay once you finished add that now click on next and now back to dashboard and now we can go to the credentials and click on create credentials and get the client id and client secret here once you click on that you can type 
what up about your application your application name you can add your url of your website you can add the callback url as you can see on your team settings and just copy that and paste that callback redirect url and click on save and now you will get your client id and client secret just copy it on your team settings Just copy the client secret also. Okay, once you get that, click on save. Now we can go for the Facebook app ID and add. go to developers.facebook.com and click on build or build connected experience. Click on select that and click on continue and add these details and click on ok security check i'm not a robot and just finish the verification and click on submit Okay, once you finish that, click on Facebook login, click on setup and choose the web, here you can add your site address, click on save and click on continue. And click on next next and click on next ok once you finish that you can see a window like this now go to the facebook login settings here check that client auth login is make yes now go to your theme settings and copy this URL just copy this and paste it on here without any space if you are having space just click on a backspace and choose like this and click on save changes once you finish that go to the settings click on basics and now you can copy your app id and app secret before that now before that you can copy the privacy policy and app domain etc this can be given a uh, your privacy policy link or something like that and choose a category for your app now choose a app icon which is on this format Just upload an app icon. Once you finish that, all these settings and click on save changes. Once you finish that, you can copy the app ID and app secret to the theme settings. copy and paste these things and click on save 
now once you finish that just add a data deletion just you have to add your terms and condition or page something like that now click on publish app switch mode now our app is ready to login now the customer can login with their facebook account or to our website now click on save changes okay now we have finished the setup and now we can check our website you can go to our home page you can see our pop-up is working fine just close the pop-up our products has been imported successfully and everything works and we can buy the product and we can search bar we can search for a product you can see the store list and we can purchase a product from a store click on visit and you can choose a product and you can see who is selling that product which means store which store is selling that product you can see on the product page and click on add to cart and click on view cart and here you can edit the cart and click on proceed to checkout and we can login with your google or facebook id or you can also create an account or login with otp and click on that or go to the next step and add the billing details and here you can add your mobile number and verify your mobile number And once I received an OTP, I will enter the OTP number onto our website. Okay, I am typing the OTP mobile number I received. Okay, now click on next, click on next. click on next and you can pay with cash on delivery or credit card or debit card and you can place the order okay everything works fine thank you for watching the video if you like the video please subscribe our youtube channel